What's up guys? Back on another video. Today, as you can see in the title of the video, what we're gonna be doing is working on this uh, B16 PR3 head. Uh, right here we have the OEM intake and exhaust valve seals. Even though the ones that are currently on here do look pretty good. These look pretty good, but um, still wanna change them out since I have it at this part right here before we throw us onto our B20. Uh, I'm gonna show you a couple of the tools that we're gonna be using along with this. Uh, one of them is gonna be this tool right here. Uh, it's Lyle part number 36050. Uh, that's uh, what we're, this is gonna help us uh, compress the spring, retain the keepers, pull everything off and uh, help us uh, change the valve seal. And now you can use a 10 millimeter socket to change the seal and make sure that you put it on or actually a, a deep 11 millimeter socket will help you put the seal on there you know but i kind of wanted to get the correct tool to make the job a little bit better so what i did is i bought this little tool and this little tool here i'll put that down in the description uh that way you can see that you load your seal on there it has a hole for your uh, valve that way you just tap it in and it's uh, good to go and as you can see here, let me demonstrate a little bit. It fits right over the valve, right onto the seal. And then we'll just push down on it and that'll install our, our seal. So uh, like I said, anything that we're using here today, uh, I'll leave a link down in the description of where I received this tool and also where I bought this tool. So um, we already removed one so far and uh, it was pretty easy. It was really easy. All this tool does, as you can see there's a magnet inside so when you press down onto the retainer it's gonna hold the keepers in here and the keepers are right here so it's a pretty cool tool um, probably gonna work on one side at a time I also did put a little um, little shop rag underneath just in case the, the valve goes down like it just pushed down right now so um, just to make sure that it stays up we'll put a rag underneath it and um, yeah let's uh, jump into it this right here is the part number for the intake side the 12210-PZ1-004 is the intake side you can see the difference on these these are brown with like a white uh, spring on them and then uh, these are for the exhaust side, which is 12211-PZ1-004. And the difference with these is these have a black spring. So there you can kind of see a little difference on them, on the color spring. So this is the exhaust, exhaust side, and this is what we're going to use. And the tool that we're gonna be using is this little tool. And what I like about this tool is, I mean, yeah, you can use an 11 millimeter socket to press them in and it's fine and dandy, but I kind of didn't, feel right pushing them in with a socket. So I got this tool, it's made out of a hard plastic tool and as you can see, the seal fits right perfectly in there. So that way you're not gonna damage anything. And it also has a hole in there so the valve that protrudes out can go in there and you can still you know, put this on. So let's give this a try. Um, I actually need to get a little bit of oil first so I can lube these up before I throw them in. That way they don't go and dry. So let me get that and then we'll jump back into doing this. All right, so now that we're back, got a little bit of 530 oil. Just gonna lube up the insides of these. That way they go in nice and smooth. We'll drop these onto our valve. Okay, and then we'll grab our tool. Just gonna be careful that the spring doesn't come off of these. So let's push them in a little bit. And now you're just gonna push down on this. And they should click into place. There we go. And now that seal is on there. All right, so let's finish this one and then we'll move over to the next side. Crazy, ain't nothing changed. Still real, baby. Yeah. Yo, around my way to thousands, thousands, cut a thousand by slabs. And hustlers are hustlers, cause hustlers sell drugs. This is for my people's up north, word of mouth. How my niggas up north say it's not one love, one love, one love. All 
All right, so now that we have our valve seals installed, uh, what's next is our retainers, our, val our valve spring, and our keepers. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put the spring down in there and load that up. And once that's nice and, and seated, then I'm gonna put my retainer with my keepers in it. Because what this tool is gonna do is this tool is gonna help us push those retainers down and hold everything. Because as you can see, this has a small little plunger and that plunger, once it pokes in there and you push down, that it's gonna help the keepers stay in place and seat them. And there you go. Just give it a little force and uh, there it goes. Now it's onto the valve and everything looks good. So now we're going on to the next one. It's gonna be the same thing. We're gonna make sure that we have something underneath so that our valve doesn't go down. I'm gonna load our spring. Once that spring is loaded, we're gonna go back, grab our keepers. And the keepers kind of taper down, so you gotta make sure that the fatter part is towards the top. So once you got those loaded in there, Again, we're going to put them on top of our valve. Gonna grab our tool, make sure it's centered. And I'm just gonna give it a little whack. And there you go. There's both of them are in there. Both of our keepers are in place and everything's good. Let's take a better look just to make sure. And yeah, looks like our keepers are in its spot holding our valve in not bad pretty nice little tool by lyle so now uh let's go to the other side i'm gonna go to this side and we're gonna start changing these so now we need to remove this part we don't need this part for this only this part is for this assembly so we're gonna push down all right there's our retainer and here's our keepers so one keeper and to if it'll come out all right so there's our keepers so we're gonna put these over onto our tray so we don't lose them along with our retainer and our spring then we'll go off to the next one okay there's our retainer here are our keepers our spring so there we go that's done all right so we have to jump off the little headset and uh use the tripod but where we're at now exhaust side is completely done all new valve seals try to clean out the lmas and everything is in there exactly how it should be now we're moving over to the intake side um i took out the little rod that holds the um rockers in place to take it out but i wasn't able to take out the intake side because this side is completely garbage i bought new bolts for it to put in there but i mean it doesn't work trying to get them out i mean i can't get it out so i can't put the new ones on so i'm probably just gonna have to take it to a machine shop see if they can take care of that for me because i also have to take it to a machine shop so that they can remove and extract that broken bolt in there so now the uh we're done with that. Let's jump into the intake side and get this taken care of. So, like usual, there's our part number for our intake valves, our tool to remove our intake, this is for our keepers, and this is gonna install our keepers. So, let's get you on the tripod and uh, see if we can get you a better look in there. All right, now we're just gonna add a little bit of oil onto our seal. Throw it on there. We got it onto our valve. I like to push it down just a little bit there. Let's grab our other seal to load it on there. Like I said, get a little bit of oil. Move that up in there. Put it onto your valve. Push it down. You'll kind of feel it get onto there. And then once you have that on, we're grabbing our little tool. It's gonna help us push it down. 
So you can see it's down there. Same thing with this one, just push it down, it's on. And then we're just gonna push it down. You can push it down by hand. You kind of feel it seat on there. But what I like to do is give it a couple little extra taps with a hammer to make sure that it's on there good. So like I said, you push down, you can push it down by hand. You can feel that thing seat just to be safe. Give it a couple little love taps. And seated. So you can see they're all seated down. And everything's looking lovely. All right, here's our valves, our dual valve springs. Secondary fucking little spring. And with this one, we actually got um, titanium retainers. Oh no, this head is all kinds of different parts. So, I mean, it looks like the springs are the same, but the retainers are different. These are titanium. I don't think those are titanium, but they're all flat face valves. So let's just uh, roll what we got here. Now what I'm gonna do here is um, I'm loading our, our keeper into our retainer. So we got one there. So once we have it there, we're gonna load it onto our spring. All right, you can see our valve retainers there. This little piece with the plunger is what's gonna stick down right there in the center in between. So we're gonna grab this, our adapter, put it together, push down, make sure we're centered. And once we're centered, what I've found is a little easier. You can push down if you're strong enough, but it's easier with the hammer. So you just get a little hammer, give it a little tap, boom. There we go, we got both in. So let's get our next one in, load up our spring our inner spring, load up our outer spring. I get our retainer, feed our keepers into it. I'm gonna feed our keepers into the retainer. All right, now that we got that in there, I'm gonna line it up on top of our spring. Make sure everything looks, looks good, which it does. All right, so now that that's there, Load up our tool right in the center. Gonna give it a good whack. And there you go, it's all in. All right, so now we're done with the whole cylinder head. We we're able to change out the valve seals, all 16 on this head. And uh, pretty much uh, we were able to do all of that using uh, just a few tools. This is one of the tools that we used here, which is this Lyle tool. That's the part number, 36050. That's the one that comes with uh, this metric piece because if you just buy the other one, it doesn't come with the whole kit. This kit comes with uh, two of them. This one, I guess, is for standard. There's a little BMW adapter. And um, yeah, this is the one that we use. So we're able to finish all that using this tool. And also the other tool that came in really handy was this tool that we used uh, to install our seals. So I'm gonna put a link in the description for these tools that we used. And um, yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Uh, now that I'm done with this, I'm gonna send this off to the machine shop, uh, have them remove this bolt. And pretty soon here, we should have uh, enough of our parts in to get our B20 VTEC started. Uh, I'm gonna walk you guys through that whole, whole process on how I'm doing it. And um, yeah, stick around. So uh, there should be another video, give it another maybe week, two weeks, hopefully not two weeks, hopefully in another week, you have another video. So thank you for sticking through this one. I know it was kind of boring, but uh, thanks again. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.